How's it going everybody? Today we're going to be looking at my girlfriend tackling Hollow Knight for the first time. Now this is going to be her first glimpse into a more difficult game. She's much more familiar with games like Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing, so it's going to be really interesting to see how she adapts and manages to progress in a game that is much more focused on action and obstacles that overall make the game a lot more difficult. In order for her to get a better experience overall, I'm going to try to avoid helping her until she is legitimately stuck or so frustrated she's no longer enjoying the game. Also, please excuse the gameplay audio being way too high in some spots of this video, making it really hard to hear my girlfriend. I ended up fixing the issue, but some of the footage is pretty bad. Anyways, please enjoy the video. Her playthrough starts just about how most would expect it to. She moves around a bit, getting a feel for the game and the controls as a whole. The first platforming section is a great introduction for new players, as it gets them in the practice of learning how to control their jumps early. My girlfriend has never really had to be precise with her movements in games, so although this took her a while, it was a great early learning curve. <laughs> oh, I got scared! <laughs> Jesus, this is hard. <laughs> There's stakes now. Ah! Oh! I thought that was a spike. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> ah! Fuck! No! After making it into Dirtmouth, then delving into the Forgotten Crossroads, she comes across her first challenging enemy. This being one of the husk guards. Oh my god, wait. I've already, I think I, I, I found the little boss bait. Uh oh. Now, up until here, she was used to being able to spam her sword and knock enemies back just until they died. The problem with this is the husk guard's extra health and no knockback made this strategy basically useless against him. This led to her basically trying to brute force her way through him, which ultimately resulted in her first death. Ah! Damn, that was cool. Not wanting to fight the guard again, she decided to go left this time instead. She eventually found Cornifer, but unfortunately did not have enough Geo to buy the map for the Forgotten Crossroads. Stumbling into this room, it locked her in, forcing her to fight. This caused her to be a little bit more patient with the enemies, and she was actually able to clear it. Oh, 
so she continues on for a while, getting a better feel for the mechanics overall, and she's making a ton of improvement in her movements and timings. Her natural progression made it so each new room she went into easy enough for her to get through, but also challenging enough to make her feel accomplished. I feel like The Forgotten Crossroads does a really good job at easing new players into more and more difficult areas. This guy's like meow. Meow. <laughs> what do you mean? There's a, someone meowing. Oh, there's somebody meowing? That's what it sounds like. They sound sad. Oh, is it those cute little warm things? Oh, shit. Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> I got distracted. He sounds so sad. I can hear him. Oh, he's making me sad. Where is he? Moving forward, this is when I really think she starts to catch on to the game. It's obvious she's getting much more confident in the movement and the combat. Ooh! Ooh! I'm so quick. I have three in a row to do that? Yeah. Alright. Fuck it. We Challenge ball. accepted. We ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good at this game. You're welcome, worm. Damn, I'm kind of killing with platforming, not gonna lie. With this newly found confidence, she's able to make enough geo to buy the map from Cornifer and then the compass from Zelda. And we fall? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I hear you. Hungry Mopta! Give me my map, boy. Yeah. Oof, now I'm broke. A little bit, huh? The game quickly humbles her when she tries to leave this room. You'll see she gets more and more impatient every time she fails. I think that most players will agree, if there's one thing Hollow Knight forces you to learn, it's patience. And it was time for a lesson. Patience? Take a slow. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. Ma! Come to me. Oh my fucking, you bitch. That's not fair. Did I get my thing back? Huh. Oh. Wait, Why I was trying to back? leave. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Damn! All that work for nothing. On our way back to that same room, she ended up stumbling into the grub area, which I think restored her faith in the game a little bit. Telling me this is all gonna be full of worms eventually. <laughs> He'll give you rewards the more you turn in. Alright. I wanted you to come to me. <laughs> come on. I know it's intrigued. It really is. Not a single word was spoken. 
Upon finding our first stag station, we'll just say it catches her off guard a little bit. This is new. What's this? A tool machine with a symbol of a stag? What is that? Fine, I have money. I have cash to spare. Oh shit. What the fuck did that do? Nothing? After getting her shade back, she decides she wants to try the husk guard again. Okay. Oh, no, no. I'm very sick. This time, she decides to study his attack patterns and take the fight a little slower, which gets her really close to defeating him. Okay, so I cannot run that. He hammered twice? No. Okay. No. I'm just gonna die, I guess. Fuck, that means I can't even, like, touch him? I don't understand. I need health. Then, on only her third try, she defeats him. Okay. Let's try you again. Hammer. Hammer. Ooh. Hammer. Ooh. Hammer. Ooh. Hammer. Ooh. Ooh. Hammer. 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 As she continues on exploring, she saves this grub and then finds the Gruz mother, who she decides to let continue sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna let him sleep. Just kidding, she turns right back around. What if I sneak? Wheel on that bitch. <laughs> ah! Okay, okay. Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this stomping? I hate it. Oh. Find that in between. Yep, 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 yep. I just can't even like run into her. You gotta keep your distance. Okay. Okay. And she has a little episode. I literally ran into her. <gasps> Did I beat it? <gasps> Damn, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Now I get little, little, little squirt guys. <laughs> After defeating the Gruz mother, she heads towards the boss room using her map. Somehow she's able to see that it's the boss room before she even enters, though. Oh, this looks like a boss room. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, fucking no. Oh god, I'm scared. What do I do? What do I do? Ah! Run into the wall. Ah! What the fuck? Ah! Oh, let me, let me, let me. Oh! Oh! 
Ah! <laughs> Let's panic. More think. <laughs> With the other strong opponents beaten, by this fight she's very used to studying move patterns. So she starts trying to figure out what the false knight does. Ugh, oh, fuck, I can't time that right. There we go. Oh, fuck, okay. Nice. Okay. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> Boy mad. Oh my god, boy so mad. The second phase creates panic, and this unfortunately causes her to forget the majority of what she just learned. Fuck. Fuck! No! The third attempt goes very similarly. She gets really close, but can't quite beat him. Fuck! Ugh! This man is slow! Fuck! No! Ah! Okay. Alright, bitch. You get one last chance. <laughs> Big boy tantrum. Oh! Do I have to go down there? Go find out? Well, I'm assuming I would have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Big baby. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking baby. <laughs> City crest. So, there you have it. The false knight defeated in only four tries. My girlfriend already wants to play again, so I may make this a series of videos until she beats the game. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and hopefully we'll see you in part two.